You've seen the length he's gone to harass me, to slander me, uh, to rewrite history in every conceivable way to make me look evil. And frankly, it has worked. This really shows how Keemstar views Etika more as a commodity than a person. Keemstar's channel performance is way more important than the well-being of Etika. But a lot of YouTubers came out today and defended Keemstar on this and said that it was wrong for Ethan to bring up Etika in this video at all. Now, Etika's ex-girlfriend known as Alice tweeted out saying, really sad to see people blaming Keemstar again. He was in no way responsible for Etika's action. Just don't even talk about this stuff. It's so dumb. Well, that's the thing because any, but you're right. Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jones with you today. I would like to talk about the situation about H3H3 versus Keemstar. If you guys have not seen the latest video of H3H3, he pretty much talked about Keemstar the whole way for 45 minutes. That's a long ass video. But yeah, he exposed Keemstar, what happened over the past few years with him. You know, he talked about how Keemstar pretty much got the story wrong about the old man in Rootscape. That was a really messed up story, bro. Um, the next thing also was the Bastiverse thing. I mean, Bastiverse was a lost cause from the beginning, but it's just that Keemstar mocked him along the way, and he shouldn't have not done that. That's pretty bad. Uh, one of the things that kind of bothered me the most, though, of the whole video of H3H3 was the Etika part. Now, this is this is something that should never be brought upon a beef, to be honest. In my opinion, I think this is the most messed up thing that H3H3 has done in the whole video, besides trying to take away the G Fuel sponsorship from Keemstar. But uh, this thing about Etika's death being laid upon Keemstar, it's really messed up. It's super shady as hell. I don't care how you guys put it. I'm not defending Keemstar, but I'm thinking like this thing should not be weighted on Keemstar. I don't think Keemstar was the cause of death of Etika or his mental state. Really sad to see people blaming Keemstar again. He was in no way responsible for Etika's actions. Let's think about it some more. One of Etika's goals was to be on Drama Alert because he respected that man. They were friendly behind the scenes. Desmond was actually unwell and sick. I know he helped attract a lot of negative attention. It's just really hard to explain to Desmond's fans that are. Do you guys have you guys ever found the source, or has anybody ever found the source of what caused Etika's mental state? No one has. Not even Keemstar. Not even Scares. Not any, not any of the news channels that report out there have ever found the source of what causes Etika's mental state of mind. Nobody has ever found the source. So Keemstar is not the cause of what happened to Etika. I don't think Etika did because of Keemstar. There's a lot of things that weigh in into depression, bipolarism. It could be his friends. It could be his family. It could be the situation that he was in. He was su a super popular YouTuber. A super popular, you know, inter internet sensation. He left a mark here on YouTube. Any of those things could have weighed in. Keemstar is just one piece of the pie. So how the hell does Keemstar cause a death? I don't think so, bro. That's super messed up to bring it into a beef. The death of Erika? Seriously, H3H3? That's the most messed, thing, messed up thing I think you've ever done in the whole time you've been here. I already unsubscribed from the guy like five months ago, but I like to follow what the hell these guys are doing sometimes. And that's the most messed up thing that H3H3 has ever done. Brought the death up of Erika and try to lay it on Keemstar. That's shady as hell, bro. Now that's my opinion right there. I'm not saying to you guys to believe the same thing, but in my opinion, H3H3, after the Erika thing, you're the most messed up person I've ever seen. Right now, I know you're trying to go all, all out on freaking bringing down Keemstar, but this is something that should never have been touched. So, in my opinion, I think both of them are shady as hell. They're both messed up people, they're both psychopaths. Think about it. H3H3 does a lot of shady things behind the camera. He had He's friend with the C CEO of YouTube. So, I mean, you've seen him take down his own biggest criticized video about him. You've seen so many other things too about the FUPA fund that he never tends to mention at all in any of his videos. And then Keemstar over there, he's super shitty on, on camera, on camera at all times. I mean, you've seen him react to every single story out there. He just doesn't care. He always laughs. He's always joyful every time he reports the news. That's super shitty as hell on camera. So they're both made for each other, bro. They really are. One of them is shady off camera. The other one is shady on camera. They're literally the both same people.
They really are. They both have the biggest egos on the YouTube platform. So uh, that's my opinion, bro. That's my opinion about the situation. If you guys don't believe the same opinion, then you guys can post it up in your comment section. I'm not stopping you. I'm not making you think something else like somebody thinks I am. Uh, but that's my opinion about the situation. And, and uh, this this thing is just it's not making me side with anyone. Both of them are really pathetic people. I know they're doing a lot for the community. I mean, both of them are. Like, one of them is donating money to people. The other one has done stuff for the community behind the scenes. A tragedy has hit. When the hurricane hit Houston recently, we raised $237,000. Behind a camera, this is the guy behind the Angry Grandpa show on YouTube. He tweeted this out at Keemstar. Just watch this. But I want to tell a quick story. When my father passed away, Keemstar called me. He was one of the first people to call me. What humongous was in need. We raised $156,000. When the Paradise Fires hit California and ravaged that whole town, we raised $159,000. And, and he told me that he was sorry that my father passed away and he was a legend. And, and I told him that I wasn't going to go to my own father's funeral. And Keem kept telling me, Michael, you can't miss your father's funeral. You have to go to it. You're going to regret it for the rest of your life. We donated tens of thousands of dollars during those campaigns. We also donated $50,000 to Australia to help with the white. So one of them is open about doing stuff for the community. The other one is not open about doing stuff for the community. That's Keemstar right there. So it's like super backwards. They're both literally the same thing. So that's my opinion about the situation, guys. You know, I'm done. <laughs> this, this, this has to end. Because they both equal to each other. So uh, that is it, guys. If you guys got your own opinion, leave it in the comment section. I'll read it later. If you guys got any moans, groans, or complaints, leave it in the comment section. And we'll read it together. So that is it. I'll see you guys later. What is up, Drama Alert Nation and everyone else that's going to see this video? This is not a Drama Alert video. This is not a news video. I'm making a video today responding to a video that was uploaded yesterday by H3H3, where he accused me of various things that can be proved wrong, completely out of context, J just plain wrong. But the most damning thing that he accused me of is killing Etika. And that's what I want to talk to you about today.